Okay, hi, welcome. It's Sunday, February 21st, and this is the start of my little project vlog that I wanted to make while I'm making my next knit piece. Back in January, I knit the shift cowl by Andrea, Andrea, um, Maori. And so I have that here. This is my shift cowl. I love her. I love her. That being said, my mom wants a shift now and I'm going to make her one because I want to make her one. This video is going to be a vlog of the whole project process. I plan to put some other stuff in there too just because I got a lot going on right now and I'm not sure how much knitting I'm gonna done, get done or like how long the shift's gonna take. This one took me just about two weeks. So I'll show you the yarn now for my mom's shift. We have this lovely like blue and white variegated yarn. And then I have this really dark gray color. And then I have this nice forest green. And so all together, we have this combo. These are from Lazy Cat Yarns. I think that's it for now. Catch you on the flip side. I haven't filmed in many days because we're moving, or we have moved. This is the only nice corner in the apartment right now. Everything else is cardboard boxes. I had a busy day, we went to Ikea and Target. We don't really have a lot of furniture. That's why everything's on the floor. It's because we don't have a lot of good storage for like, home stuff. Oh, the surface is to put my random, um, you know, my knickknacks on. My knickknacks. I am now de stressing by making pom poms. I got the like pom pom maker because I like saw into the future and saw that I'd be making a lot. Here's the one I made last night to de stress. The plan right now is to make a bunch of these and then make them into a garland. And then the plan is to one day make a bunch of them, make them into like a mobile little. Ooh, spinny. And then the plan one day is to make a lot of them and make them into like a wall hanging. I'm trying to make a lot of pom poms because it's fun. And who doesn't like pom poms? I like hate pom poms on clothing, but love them for decorations. But you guys are here for the, the cowl. I mean, you're not really. You might be here for just knitting stuff, but I can finally show you the little bit I've started. I knit in the car while we were moving. We drove 30 hours more in a weekend. My partner drove mostly, but I drove two. And I get kind of car sick, so I didn't knit too much. So, I just like completely went to another planet, lost my mind. I like it, I like it. It's slow going, but <laughs> I'm moving. Yeah, I don't want to knit right now because too much thinking, too much stuff. So I'm going to zone out and make some pom poms. Okay, this is good. This is good enough. Still camera shy, still a little nervous. My partner's gone climbing 
So I thought I'd film a little. You saw me knitting outside. I started this fun macrame thing today with some yarn I found at Goodwill this morning. Ta-da! Just started it, like literally just two rows. I've never really liked macrame or like the idea of it. It's never appealed to me. It's never been something that I've wanted to try. And I think it's cause I just like, I see the like popular macrame and there's nothing wrong with it. It's just like not my style. I like color. I like excitement. I like fun stuff to look at. I like stimulation. Except there's this girl on Instagram, Shitty Craft Club. I love that account. I just found it the other day. She glues googly eyes to everything and like that's exactly what I like. That's exactly what I like. Samantha mate or Sam, whatever her name is, um, had this picture of this macrame headboard head wall hanging thing that she made with like neon paracord. Um, it was like the most interesting macrame knot work I've seen. The colors appealed to me. I liked how clean and neat it looked with the paracord and like all the fun colors. I just loved it. I loved it. This was a lot of talking. I'm a chatty girl. Have you, have I told you yet? I have ADHD. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I, last week, after a stressful couple days, decided I wanted to buy some fidget toys to play with because I fidget a lot. I didn't think I did when I got diagnosed with ADHD. I told my doctor, I was like, I don't fidget. But then I bought a fidget toy. As you can see, wherever it is, it's a nice, beautiful shade of blue. I was so attracted to the color. And I guess this is a good thing, what, what's happened to it, but I have really been enjoying my tangle. Clearly, we're getting good use out of this, this bad boy. It's, it's so funny, every time I look at it, I'm like, wow. Someone was stressed. I'm gonna be done. Bye. Hi. So, at this point in the video, I stopped filming chatty portions. I'm hesitant to do a voiceover, but I also wanted to add some context to these clips. So, here I am just enjoying some calming knitting time, watching Paloma the Peach in the background. She has great studio vlogs. I then went to the river to knit a couple days later and here I am complaining about how I want it to be done because I was getting kind of bored. I already knit this project back in January so it was a little difficult for me to find motivation. Also the close-up just gave you so much cat hair view. Don't worry, I lint rolled my project. The kitty we just saw is Boo and this is Tidy. I just adopted them a couple weeks ago and they are so incredibly sweet. I love them so much. Here I'm watching Nick Durantio. I think that's how you say his name. He makes the funniest commentary videos on all kinds of media, specifically like movies and TV shows. Here's my friend Choopy Boopy streaming on Twitch. We love her. Go follow her. So in this clip and the following one, I am finally binding off. I'm doing an eye cord bind off, which is part of the pattern because it matches the eye cord edging. Um, and Andrea, or Andrea, <laughs> explains it super uh, well in the pattern. So it was super easy to do and yeah, it's pretty fun. Here I'm just weaving in my ends, you know, finishing up that project. I wasted no time. As soon as I uh, did my bind off, I started weaving in ends because I was so excited to just get her done. In these last bits where I'm, you know, finishing knitting and doing all the finishing pieces like weaving in ends and blocking, I was watching Allen vs. Pharaoh, which is an HBO docuseries on Woody Allen being a predator, pretty much. And also Dylan telling her story. We're super grateful to her for that. Uh, all I want to say about the show is that when they play clips from Woody Allen's 
audiobook that came out last year, he just sounds like a whiny little baby. It's just so, like, whiny. And yeah, I thought it was pretty disgusting. So anyway, <laughs> thought I'd throw that in there for you. Since this entire video is just clips of me watching different media while I knit, uh, I will throw in that in this part I'm listening to the Love Stitch Knits podcast on YouTube. I found these videos in the last couple of days of working on this and really enjoyed listening to Tierra, you know, talk about yarn and projects and stuff. So go give her a follow, go watch her videos. Okay, I filmed an outro yesterday, but my, I used my phone to film and it's not picking up the audio. I just wanted to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun. I'm so excited that I've made my first video now and I liked doing it. So hopefully in the next video I will have improved. And I'll keep improving and I'll keep showing you different projects and knitting stuff and what have you. I'm excited to make more like project vlogs and process studio vlogs, whatever. Um, maybe one day I'll make tutorials or I don't know. But yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Are we still not supposed to point at people? Is that a thing? You remember? Like your grandparents being like, don't don't point at people, it's rude. I love you. How's that for rude? Okay, bye. One more thing, grandma, if you're watching, I'm sorry. You don't sound like that to me. I don't know why I said that or why I gave you that voice. You've never told me not to point at people. I think it was always teachers, but anyway, I love you. I'm sorry. You're the best and you don't sound like that. <laughs>